what is up guys this is your boy andy matrix and do you remember you remember earlier this year in 2022 i think it was around may or june it was in the summer it was definitely in the summer so netflix was predicting no actually in, in i think around january february they reported that they lost 200,000 subscribers right that's a pretty big number but then in the second quarter of 2022 netflix went ahead and lost over a million now I am here at time.com and it says Netflix nearly lost nearly 1 million subscribers uh, last quarter. Here's here's what that means for its future. Now I think it's probably more than a million. More than a million because like uh, you know because Netflix did say that they're going to start purging, you know, on, on a lot of their woke a lot of their WOKE employees, you know, their woke employees. But they still have some stuff going on. They're still having some struggle going on. You know, I'm sure you've seen recent Netflix movies that they're kind of like W-O-K-E, right? And um, it seems that they're still, they're still struggling with it. And what if I told you, what if I told you that they're going to lose even more because of all the crap that they're, that they're, that they're, that they're planning, right? <laughs> so here... I am here at thesun.com. It says millions of Netflix fans say they'll quit the app this year as cost of living crisis bites. Right? It says uh, one of one in four Netflix users say they're planning to ditch the app this year at, as the cost of living as the cost of living increases. Right? Because gas prices, food prices, and then I think if I think if depending on where you live, there's an in, an increase in energy with electric bills. Um, so people want to stay home. They don't want to drive. They want to stay indoors. They don't want to drive too far too much. <clears throat> right. Me, myself included. I mean, I spend a lot on food guys. I'm a greedy motherfucker. You know, Netflix keeps increasing the prices, uh, on reviews.org survey surveyed 1000 Americans about their Netflix habits. 25% said that they, that, that they plan to leave this year in 2022. So basically, out of out of twenty five percent of those, that's what two hundred and fifty people, right? That could mean that over eighteen million U S subscribers will vanish, leaving a two hundred seventy two million hole in the streaming streaming company's pocket. That is huge. And then it says around forty percent of people said that they will exit Netflix due to the recently, in uh, the sort of recently announced price price increase, because Netflix they not only do they keep increasing the prices, but now they're they're doing other bull crap like uh, where is it? They wanna um, yeah they're, they're they're trying to launch this new app. I mean th this new advertising, you know, running commercials on Netflix, which they've never had it. I mean, Hulu has had commercials. I think Tubi has commercials. There's other platforms that has have commercials. Netflix has never had commercials in their in the in their platform. Never. So it, it was a, it was a high quality product. So adding commercials to Netflix is probably gonna gonna, you know, it's gonna increase the the uh, the value of the product. I mean, Tubi runs advertisements, but Tubi is free at least, you know. But if people had to pay and also watch ads, then you know, we're basically right back to cable vision. <laughs> and another thing that Netflix is doing, um, they want to where is it? They want to. They want to purge, you know, password users. If you're sharing your passwords in your household, they, then, you know, with or outside of your households, then, you know, they, they, they want to attack that, too. So it's like, you know, they, they want to try and get you as, as much as they can, you know, and charge you more money for for, you know, sharing your password and sharing your Netflix account. It's ridiculous, right? Netflix has a tough year losing 1.2 million subscribers in the first two quarters of 2022, and they're going to lose even more 18 million people because of the stupid decision so we're paying more money for crappy shows and honestly the only good thing for me on for me and for a lot of you that are watching is anime netflix is absolutely amazing for anime like recently you know cyberpunk edge runner was ab was absolutely amazing and that's what's keeping me on netflix other than that i i don't really watch a lot of shows and movies on netflix you know that sometimes they have some good shows and some mo good movies on there but other than that it's you know, people are consuming Netflix less and less, and they're choosing other things such as eating, <laughs> real human necessities. 
and um that's pretty and that's pretty much it guys whatever your thoughts are make sure to comment below like this video and by the way before you leave before you leave i just want to say that again if you if you love anime you should still stay subscribed to netflix because you're also helping you're also helping you know anime studios pay for you know pay their expenses when you subscribe to netflix but that's i recommend netflix if you are really into anime um and also also crunchyroll you know but uh if you want to go the other way and do it the free way on the internet i understand if you want to be a pirate we don't have to get into that but i don't blame anybody because you know it's like these these companies are just making horrible decisions so what the heck are we paying them for all this crap you know mo more money we gotta pay more money for you know for a crappy service make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell for future notifications thank you for watching thank you for listening this is your boy andy matrix godspeed